Welcome to my um, tutorial on um, an application that I'd like to show you um, on my iPad. And um, it's the first one of these I've done, so it's very experimental. I've not done this before. Um, I'm hoping this will work. What I'm going to show you is an application that um, enables me to replace my traditional sketchbook, um, which is ideal for when I go to exhibitions or galleries or, or wherever and I want to document something I see and draw over it. Um, and the iPad app allows me to do that with more flexibility than if I had a standard paper sketchbook and I just drew um, observation with a pen. So what you're looking at here are the, some of the apps that I have on my iPad. And I've actually saved it in Note um, Maker. It's called Note Ledge Lite, and it's um, the second one in on the top row. And here it is. Now this application is very versatile, although still slightly limited, it's one of the best ones I've found. Um, there's still a lot of development um, that would make it perfect for what I want it for, so I tend to use this one in collaboration with um, the Photo PS Photoshop um, app, which you can download. I can't remember how much this one costs, I have a suspicion it might have been free, but if not, it was one of the lower priced um, apps. What I'm going to show you is, first of all, you can set up um, the files. Here I've got some already set up. I'm going to create a new file. And it's got a classic note. Click OK. If I double click on it, and that's my first page. And you can see it's page one down the bottom. I can go to the next page two, three, so you can navigate through. There's also a preview. Ah, this is an old notebook that I've used. I'm going to select the first page, it's just a demonstration. What's great about this is if I see something, and I've got here just um, a silly little thing um, on my desk, what I'm going to do is open the media down the bottom left, and click video, take a video. As you can see, it's the Mr. Potato Head Star Wars character. If this was, say, in a gallery or in a museum, you could really scroll around the item, get good documentation of it. It would help if I click the play button. OK, I can stop that and hit use. Wait for the screen to go back to normal. I'm going to place this in the top left on my page. I could do an audio clip. Kind of click on there, you can record. I'm not going to do that because I'm recording this um, via my iMac, so the sound conflict will conflict with the microphone I'm currently using, but you get the idea. So if I want to make um, commentary on the kind of materials that I could use or um, any emotional response or etc., I can do that. I can take an image, I take a photograph, or add one from the library. I can use that. I can rotate this, I can rescale it. I'm going to add it just here for now. I can add any text. I would like. And then you've got a series of tools down the right hand side. So you've got pencil, a fine brush, wider brush, crayon, etc. I'm going to pick the paintbrush. You've got a rubber there. Where's my paintbrush gone? The size you can alter. You are limited on here. Transparency, which is the strange thing to add. Um, and the colours. So again, you're very limited. What you could can do now, there is a palm protector here, saves you hitting anything accidentally. But you can draw over the item. Now if I turn this icon top right off, I can move this out of the way. As you can see, I can then add to it. It's great for making quick sketches, quick ideas. Um, and that kind of thing. 
what you can do afterwards, you can actually email it. I click on this, so you can save it. You can save it to the cloud, Dropbox, etc. You can email it. Although if you do email it, you can email it a PDF or a note or current page. The videos don't work depending on how you do it. I've not shared anything to Facebook yet. So you can email the notes and if someone's got this out they can open it and see the full interaction on it. So it is it is very limited. The the tools are a bit naive. There are a lot more packages that do actually um, work better as a sketchbook, that, but they don't have the audio or the video capabilities that this has. So this one is actually quite useful. If we go back into files, I can actually edit this one. I can add a new cover. I'll add it from the library. And I can rename it. So you can build up um, a number of um, different books. And you can see on the 17th, for example, it's red. If I click on there, it should. I'm saying that it doesn't. I thought it would open up the ones on the 17th. Oh, these are on the 17th. Today's the 18th. Right, so I needed to create a new file in the 18th. So all these were done yesterday. And you can go back into them and keep building them up. Let's see what else is on here. So these are just trial ones that I've been doing. But you can see the potential this has. Um, what I'll do, I'll keep adding the app reviews on in this format um, as I find them really. Um, I'm still on the search for a brilliant um, sketchbook app that gives me a load of tool features and also video, audio and image manipulation capabilities. Um, so hopefully I'll find one. But have fun with it. Um, the app again was called Note Ledge Lite and you saw a pop up at the beginning saying you can buy another version which I'm guessing has more features on it, so I might try that out at a later date. But have fun.